Hi everybody, today I'll be sharing with you a watercolor painting that I recently finished after a long break of not using this medium at all. Now the reference photo I got from a friend who's a very talented wildlife photographer, so please make sure to check the link in the description below to see his Instagram page. You'll really enjoy his photographs. Now it is very important when working with photographic reference, which most of us are often bound to, to alter the photographic effects that make a photo what it is. Photography is an art in itself, so it isn't quite a good idea to merely copy it. For instance, there's a very particular blurred background effect that is only perceived through the filter of the camera lens focusing on the subject. Now, our eyes also have the same capacity to focus and blur the background, but the perception is quite different. Also, since the watercolor painting is usually more loose and um, is supposed to be more atmospheric rather than realistic, I merely made the background abstract and added some interesting colors. I did not really plan the process, which is always recommended, but I relied more on experimenting without the fear of failure. Uh, also this paper allowed me to lift up paint whenever I needed to and add more layers. And at the end you will see me using some gel pens to add some interesting details of the whiskers and the fur. Also you might notice some asymmetries and irregularities of the paper, but don't worry about it. The paper does curl depending on what you use. Um, it's always a good idea to wet the paper, soak it basically in water on both sides and paint on a glass surface or something similar to a glass like a very smooth plastic. Now all problems and uh, maybe even structural problems, they can be corrected later on with the paint. So it's always good to create an outline, just the general idea of the subject in pencil or in a pen. And then things will become clearer once you add the colors. Hopefully you will enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section below and see you soon. Bye.